Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is reproduction in plants. So we are going to study placentation today. And uh, placentation is the arrangement of ovules within the ovary. Or we can put it in a different way and say that it is the arrangement of the seeds within a fruit. So if you look at uh, uh, different fruits, you'll find that uh, there are various ways in which the, uh, the seeds are arranged or the seeds are attached to the placenta within the, the fruit. And uh, so we are saying that uh, this is the arrangement of ovules within the ovary. And uh, we have a number of uh, types of placentation or the ways in which the ovules or the seeds are basically arranged within uh, the, the fruit. So you can say that the following are the types of placentation or the types of arrangement. We have one, we have what we call marginal placentation. And the marginal placentation we can say that the placenta, the placenta forms one ridge, it forms a ridge, one ridge along which, along which the seeds are attached, are attached marginally along the margin. The seeds are attached marginally. E.g. the legumes. Legumes or the pods have a marginal placentation. Like we had seen earlier in a diagram. So you'll find that uh, The placenta is one ridge along the margin and along that we have the ovules attached or the seeds attached. So, so this is the placenta and then we have the seeds or the ovules. The ovules are attached along that ridge or along that uh, margin. So we refer to that as marginal placentation. Another example, we have basal uh, placentation. We have said that an example is uh, legumes, e.g. a bean pod. Showing the way the ovules or the seeds are arranged. Uh, the basal placentation. Uh, we are saying that uh, ovules are attached to a placenta located at the base at the base of the ovary. Uh, E.g. in sunflower. Sunflower has a base of placentation. So if this is the fruit, then you find that uh, there is a placenta at the base. And then along that placenta, we have the ovules 
attached. So that is a basal placentation. That's the placenta. And then we have the ovules or the ovule. So this is a basal placentation. From the word base. Uh, the third type of placentation uh, we have, so the marginal and the basal placentation, these ones are mainly found in what we call monocarpus gynoecium. Those that have a gynoecium that is made up of only one carpel. Only one carpel. That is one carpel means one ovary, one stigma, uh, one style, one stigma. So that's one carpel. So for those fruits that have a single carpel, uh, they can either have a marginal placentation or they can have a basal placentation. Uh, then we have those ones that, are, that have more than one carpel, the syncarpus gynoecium. They can either be uh, axial, also known as central placentation. And here you can see that the placenta is located at the center. At the center or the axial. <coughs> at the center. And then uh, carpels fuse. Carpels fuse to form loculi or compartments. Loculars is the singular. Uh, to form loculi or the compartments containing the seeds or containing the ovules. E.g. in an orange. That's an example of an axial placentation where the placenta is at the center. Then we have the loculi, the compartments, and then we have the seeds attached there. So these are the seeds. Then we have the placenta. So this is axial placentation in an orange. So the placenta here is at the center. Then we have the compartments that are divided. And these are the ones that we are calling the loculi or the loculi. When it is one, it's called the loculus. Uh, we have another type of placentation that is very close to axil. Uh, we call it free central. But the free central placentation, the placenta is still at the center, but it's not divided into these compartments. It's not divided into loculi. It has just a single compartment or a single loculus. So we call that free central. Free central placentation and you can see here that the placenta is centrally located
and this has one single loculus that is it's not divided it's not divided into the compartments and an example is in primrose the primrose fruit so we'll have a almost like the axil, the placenta, but now the seeds are located there, or the ovules are located there. So this is a single loculus. It's not like here where they are divided. So we have the ovules, And then you have the placenta. And this is what you are calling a free central placentation. Then we have the last one. The last one. We refer to it as parieto placentation. And we have placenta located at the edges, at the edges of the pericarp. E.g. in purple, in purple fruit, so we have the placenta at the edges, we have one there fused to another one, like that, and then each of these placenta have the ovules so this is uh, we have the placenta and then we have the ovules so this is parieto. So those are the five types of placentation that we have. The five types or the five ways in which the ovules can be arranged within the fruit. The ways in which the uh, ovules are arranged within the ovary or the seeds are arranged within the, the fruit. So we have the, we saw the first, which was marginal placentation. We saw basal placentation, axial placentation, also known as central. Then we have free central. And I've said that the difference is that uh, the free central does not have the compartments or the loculi, but instead it has just a single loculus. Here, the central or the axial is... Uh, the one that has the compartments. And then finally we have the parietal, whereby the placenta is located at the edges of the pericarp, and those placenta, they are fused together and contain the ovules attached. So we are going to have a, an assignment on that. So the first question, name the five types of placentation in fruits. Two, draw a well-labeled diagram showing axial placentation. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.